In this introduction to Turk's Head Knots video series, we're going to do it on the algorithm diagram. And to do that, we're going to use a five part four byte casa knot. I want to uh, turn to the page in the book that shows some of the coatings on a casa knot so I can explain them as we get to that part in working out the algorithm diagram. But first off, we need to use these two different formulas. We'll use this one first, P divided by B, which is parts and bytes, will give us N plus R, which is the remainder. So we'll go 5 divided by 4 equals 1 with a remainder of 1. Now we do our second formula, which is B for bytes. 4 minus our R value, which was 1, equals 1 minus 4 is 3. And 3 is our V for our count value. Now we need to calculate up our count value. And to do that, we mark out the number of bytes. One, two, three, four. And this represents these columns. And see this outside column is the bytes. And we put a zero above it. And now we do our count value three. One, two, three, we place a one. We keep counting. One, two, three, we place a two. One, two, three, we put a three. That is our count value. Now we need to draw out our over and under coding. We're doing a casa knot, so it's an over one, under one coating, and this is our coatings. And so, if we're going from left to right in an upwards direction, we'd be crossing the bridge, so that'd be an over. If we were going from right to left in an upwards direction, we'd be the water going under the bridge. That's an under. And... Here's the same thing with the coating going the other way. So that would be an under, that would be an over. And this is a five part four byte knot. And that's kind of a drawing of the pictures of the strings. So see how that string is going under? So that is an under coating. Right there it's going over, so that's an over coating. That's going under, so that's an under coating. That's going over, so that's an over coating. So that's what we're going to draw. And see in our uh, knot, our column's going like this. So we're going to go under, over, under, over. And this is always one less than the number of parts because this is the strand going through would make your number of parts would be one, two, three, four, and the one doing the traveling would be five. Now we're going to take our count value and write it above the coding and below the coding. And as you can see, the zero is not above a coding. So we just go to right here and we're going to write down three, two, one, zero and if our coding continued on we would repeat that again now on the bottom we're going from right to left so we write them down from right to left and see our zero is our right hand bytes we don't use it we start with this next one so it's three two one zero that 
is all we need to tie our knot. But to make it easier, I like to write my overs and unders above and below so that I can just mark them as I go so I don't have to decipher if it's an over or an under. So I do that now. That would be an under, over, under, and an over. Now going this way, that would be an under, over, under, over. Now, on this one, I'm going to just write out the run list. And so we have the, the number of half cycles in a run list is twice the number of bytes. We got four bytes, so we need eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now our first half cycle is always a free run because we don't have any coding. So we have free run. Now we are looking for zero. Now some people say, why are you looking for zero? Well, if that's important to you. There is a spot in the book that will give you that formula for the even half cycles. It's H is even. This is the formula. I equals H even minus 2 divided by 2. For the odd number half cycles, H O for odd half cycles, I equals H O minus 3 and then divided by two. So that is the formula for calculating that which half cycle. But if you'll just remember that you start with zero, so this would be zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three. I'll write them down right here. Zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three. This is our V number okay so the first one if you do the formula it's a negative one and we don't have negative one so we do free run and now we go this way looking for zero there it is it's an over now looking for zero going that way there it is it's an over looking for one going this way it's under over now we're reading this from right to left but i'm going to write it down left to right because that's just the way we read under over looking for one there it is under over looking for two there it is over under over over under over looking for two there it is over under over looking for three there it is under over under over under over under over and that finishes our knot i hope this is there's a lot of information there and you'll have to do it several times to get comfortable with it but this is a very handy tool for a knot tire that doesn't have a computer or doesn't want to calculate it out off of a grid diagram. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.